G'day, my name's Yvette and I'm going to talk to you about my favourite picks for the day of what to watch on the telly. I also have a lovely bottle of wine here. It's from Kangaroo Island, it's a little island up Australia, the Chardonnay for 2018. Lovely little oaky notes there. Um, lovely toast notes, nice with maybe some hors d'oeuvres and also not salmon, but like if you want, if you like having fish in summer, it'd be really good with like a really heavy tasting fish, like tuna, not tuna from a pan, but like tuna steaks from the, from the ocean, or like some sort of fatty fish like flathead, um, like an Australian sort of uh, oily fish, definitely not salmon or definitely not like a light fish, but uh, yeah, lovely, it's nice at room temperature or chilled, it can get quite hot here in Australia, so normally sort of, it's quite a high alcohol content, actually 14.5%, so that's what I've been enjoying while I'm watching my favourite TV program. What I would like to recommend let's stop. So. so seeing that in Australia I mean I don't know where you are at the moment but in Australia you're crap on TV and thankfully you've got apps like Netflix, um, Stan. So I'll leave that there in case you want to have a geezer at that. And I'm just going to have a little nibble. So, my pick for the day for movies. There's a new one I saw on Netflix. It's called Mine. So pretty much it's just a uh, marine, couple of marines have gone on a special mission and then their, um, their path takes a turn. I don't want to give too much away. There, there are some, there's a one or two sort of well-known actors in it but not that many. But there are a lot of newcomers, people that I haven't seen before. But the acting is exceptional. It's really nice when you see a movie that um, does have new uh, actors in it or not well-known actors in it, and it gives them an opportunity. You get sick of seeing the same old actors all the time, even if they're fantastic actors. You like to see new faces. This uh, brings all those elements, some new faces, but great acting, great story. And uh, it's actually directed by Fabio uh, Guaglioni and, and um, Fabio Resonaro. So, um, obviously, Italian sounding names, um, very artistic and really out of the box. This movie uh, it is a kind of a, a military movie, but it's also um, really like a feel good movie and a survival movie all at once. So even if you're not into military movies, I'd watch it. It's a really quite a fantastic story about hope and survival. I'd give it a crack. It's called Mine, M-I-N-E. And there's some dream sequences in there. Really, it had me on the edge for like pretty much half of the film. It was just a, so fantastic script fantastic directing fantastic actors uh give it a shot it's top 10 at the moment in um it was a 2016 movie i've never seen it before uh, and it goes for about one and a half hours so one hour and 46 minutes so it's not too long you don't want things you know going over two hours and so and then of course netflix you don't have ads so really great stuff that's my pick um, for movies. The pick for, if you like, um, series, television series, which is great because 
you can really get into them. They go every single week. Um, and if you're watching one episode, it's like an hour. Berlin Station is um, currently showing on Stan. I'm a member of Netflix. I would totally become a member of Stan, but I sort of, um, I'm in no hurry to have you know, two different things. I did do a free trial on Stan, and I because I had to watch a couple of movies for some research for something, and then I came across this by accident. It was actually shown on Australian free to air TV on SBS for some, I think it was on SBS or ABC, one of those stations, and um, a lot of those, if you're in Australia, you can download those for free and watch for free. Berlin Station, it's just really about CIA officer Daniel Miller's new mission. It puts him undercover at the agency in Germany in the Berlin branch, so for the American CIA. So he'll, there's a lot of deception, a lot of danger, a lot of moral compromises. Um, and he works out different, he's trying to go there to work out di different damaging leaks, uh, whistleblowers, terrorists, a lot of action. I binge watched that, three seasons, I managed to do that on my free 30 day free trial. I could not stop watching it. There's a few familiar faces in there, a few familiar American and English actors. Um, I won't say like who, I won't give it away. But even people who um, who I've never seen before, they may be in your country familiar um, actors. Absolutely incredible acting, you know, like incredible story. It really gets into the nitty gritty. I really like that there's a mixture of English and American actors in there, uh, and you've got of course some German actors in there. It's a real fantastic. Uh, mixed bag and you just can't stop watching it. I think I've binge watched like six episodes once on a weekend. Um, incredible stories that take place, really believable. That's if you want to get into like a really juicy series that you can watch over um, you know, a period of a week or a couple of weeks. Berlin Station, currently on Stan. Um, I did I did a free trial and I watched it, um, but uh, yeah, some really good stuff on Stan as well. Um, starting to become a lot uh, more interesting things on Stan as well. And my third pick um, for either a documentary or current affairs, on YouTube there's a channel called Trigonometry. Um, they are on Instagram, I think they're on Instagram as well, no, definitely on YouTube. And they're two English comedians that have put together like um, current affairs show. Uh, really intelligent concepts and um, uh, subjects that they talk about. It's so interesting. Today I was like cleaning up the house and I had it on my TV listening to it while I was, um, you know, cleaning up. Really thought provoking, really interesting. and discussed in a mature and calm manner like of different looking at different sides of different uh, aspects and arguments of a um, subject uh, it's not like when you you're watching normal uh, free-to-air TV people screaming and um, carrying on it was all it's all really quite fascinating and interesting I hardly watch normal free-to-air TV these days uh, there's so many other interesting things that people are producing on YouTube um, and obviously on Stan and um, Netflix. So they're my top three that I think you should um, check out and my wine for the day as you saw from the beginning is Kangaroo Island Trading Company 2018. It's a little island of Australia and they make Chardonnay there. Really exceptional uh, quality. You can obviously get it through uh, Kangaroo Island uh, Trading Company. You can order from them directly or through various wine clubs. Um, I think you'll find that available. It's got 14.5% alcohol. Um, fantastic in, of course, uh, hot weather. And um, while you're 
watched me bake a croissant. So cheers um, from me.